Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning, and uh, for anybody who's watching the replay, thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> today, I uh, I decided to uh, <clears throat> share a little bit about Stolen Valor. And, well, not really Stolen Valor. I mean, I had started to um, want to share about, uh, <clears throat> about wear the military uniform because I see so many people out there inappropriately wearing the the uh, military uniform. And as a retired Air Force veteran of 23 years, I wanted to address it because Veterans Day is coming up and Halloween's just around the corner. For those who celebrate that, people dress up in costumes and that. Um, sometimes people go to veterans events and they're not a veteran and they wear a uniform just to support the veteran. And so I just wanted to talk and address about that um, the proper wear of the uniform. And when I started to do some research about this, you can actually look down, uh, look at the blog. There's also um, a blog on eldonaluisfernandez.com slash blog where it's uh, Mastery Monday. I did a whole blog post about this where I go into a lot of detail about the regulations and the statutes and su such with regard to uh, uniform wear. And I just specifically did the Air Force because I was an Air Force veteran. Uh, I'm an Air Force veteran and I served in the Air Force. Each service has their own individual um, regulation in the Air Force. It's Air Force Instruction 362903. Uh, before that, it was a, uh, Air Force Reg 3510. But uh, that prescribes where the uniform for those in the service, for those who are separated, for those who are retired, and it even um, addresses things for reservists and situations like that. So when you start thinking about uh, wear the military uniform and people improperly wearing the uniform, you will uh, you find a lot about stolen valor. And depending on where you are, it may or may not be stolen valor, as I've found. So the, the Stolen Valor Act, first the Stolen Valor Act of 2005 was enacted to uh, make it a crime for somebody to, who was uh, impersonating a veteran by saying that they... Uh, received certain awards, decorations, were part of certain organizations, and using it for monetary gain. Well, that actually got shot down in 2012 when uh, somebody named Xavier um, Alvarez in California was busted for stolen valor because he was claiming to be a retired uh, Marine Corps veteran, saying he served in Iraq and had a Purple Heart or whatever. You can look on the blog and see the article about that. He was busted for stolen valor, and because of that, he went uh, and actually complained about it and uh, actually took a case to the Supreme Court, which the Supreme Court shot down the Stolen Valor Act of 2005. Well, some people got together and said, heck with that. So uh, President Obama signed the Stolen Valor Act. In 2012, they started it back up because uh, the first one got shot down. So the Stolen Valor Act, Val bleh, excuse me, the Stolen Valor Act was uh, reestablished in uh, it, it is Stolen Valor Act of 2013. And you can see the whole act, which makes... Basically, the Federal Stolen Valor Act makes it a crime to uh, claim that you receive certain decorations. It doesn't say anything about impersonating a veteran. However, um, many states actually have, because of the actually being shot down, the, the first Stolen Valor Act, and because the federal regulation or law doesn't actually address things like impersonating a veteran, just wearing the uniform, uh, there many states have their own act in California actually where I live has one and the act does say uh, a person who fraudulently claims or uh, presents himself or herself to be a veteran or member of the armed forces of the United States California National Guard state military reserve naval militia the National Guard of any state or any reserve component of the armed forces of the United States with intent to obtain money, property, or other tangible benefit is guilty of a misdemeanor. So basically, it, you have to look at what state you're in to see if actually impersonating a veteran uh, is actually, it's called military imposter in some states. And in, in the blog, I also have some examples of people who have been arrested for that. So you have to check your, you check the federal, but then you also check your state's law to see what that says. So um, that for, for those of us who served in the military, it is uh, something that's 
at least for me, it's upsetting to see somebody faking that they're a veteran. You see a lot of, um, and we know of stories of homeless people that are out holding a sign saying a veteran, and um, a lot of them aren't. Some are, some aren't. There are a lot, a large uh, number of homeless veterans, but some people use their uh, that to get sympathy and money, and that's um, a violation of stolen valor, uh, saying that you you're a veteran to get monetary gain. One of the articles. Uh, or one of the pictures I have in the blog post is of a guy who was uh, claiming to be a Navy SEAL. And there's a guy, Don Shipley, who does a great job of exposing um, fake Navy SEALs, people going around saying they're a Navy SEAL. He's a retired SEAL, and uh, it's become his mission to go around and uh, call these people out. But let's talk about wearing the uniform. Okay, you know, you're not a veteran. Okay, first of all, if you are a veteran, you've served in the military, Respect the uniform and don't wear it inappropriately. Um, so I have my service dress uniform here. This is uh, my Air Force uniform. Actually, this is the one I retired in. I can still fit into it. Thank the Lord for that. And it's got my it's got my decorations on it. All the decorations I earned. It has my rank, Master Sergeant, on it. It's got the U.S. insignia. It's got my Master Acquisition badge for contracting. It's got my name tag. I can still wear this as a retiree. The, the regulation gives me instance to where I, where I can wear it properly. But uh, the, th the thing to do, I actually, if you look at the photo where I announced that I was doing this Facebook Live, I blacked in my, the blog post, I blacked her face out, but I forgot to do it on the other photo. So there's somebody, I was at, at the talk a couple of years ago, and she was basically like this. She had, I hate to even do this, she had the jacket on over her outfit and was walking around like this. This is inappropriate wear of the military uniform. You can't wear this as a fashion item. This is not a fashion item. This is not something to, to be flippant about. You can only wear this as a uniform as, the pro, as your uh, service regulation states. So, for instance, Veterans Day is coming up. A lot of times I get asked to speak. Uh, for places at Veterans Day, I'll show up in my uniform, but my hair will be up in appropriately. Uh, I'll be appropriately dressed. I'll have my nails conservative because a lot of times you see me wearing wearing a little um, Kenya flag or something on my nails. That's not conservative and that's not within military regs. So if I'm going to go speak on behalf of my military service, I'm going to wear my uniform appropriately. That means hair up off of my collar, hair out of my face. I can't be looking like this all fashionable and stuff. If I wanna wear this jacket as a jacket, I need to take everything, all the rank off of this, all the insignia off of this, everything needs to come off of it. You know, I could wear it as a jacket if I wanted to wear it just as a blazer, but you can't wear the military uniform uh, as as just a fashion piece or a costume or whatever, it's disrespectful to those of us who uh, served. You know, some time ago, it wasn't that big of a deal, but after 9-11 happened and there's so many people that got on the bandwagon of, I'm gonna say I'm a veteran so I can get some money. We take it very seriously when you, when you see people doing that. So if you wanna wear camouflage pants go ahead and wear them if you want to wear the camouflage jacket take the rank off take anything off the insignia the patches anything that makes it a military um item i've had this this is a gore-tex jacket that was issued to me in the military when i was uh, stationed in england and what made it a military uniform was i would put my rank right here actually i think i have the rank in my in the pocket here somewhere because i just still keep it so I, I wear this, like I went on a trip to Ireland and I wore this over my clothes, but I took this off. This is my master sergeant rank. It makes it, a, it made it a uniform. Um, this, this pattern is no longer um, active in the military, but it's still, this would make it a uniform. So I need to take that off if I want to wear this. So... <clears throat> If you want to, if you think you're supporting veterans by showing up wearing a, a piece of the uniform, um, you're you're really not. You're you're. Some of us, some people would get very upset. You go if you go Google stolen valor on YouTube, you can see people. There's one guy, uh, in Florida. It was by McDill Air Force Base, and I guess there was a, 
uh, a homeless guy with a sign, and he had a junior ROTC patch on the uniform, which is not, obviously not military anything. So he was impersonating a veteran for financial gain. And this guy is telling him, you take my uniform off. I mean, the bottom line is people died for this uniform. We all took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And uh, some of us even went further and joined the elite forces like special forces, Navy SEALs, um, <coughs> any kind of any kind of special forces unit where you had to go through extra training to do extra type of uh, elite type duty. And to impersonate somebody or to just say, oh, I'm just here supporting a veteran. Yeah, there's a certain thing that goes with taking that oath and, and taking on that way of life. I served 23 years and I had to sacrifice and so did my my children. They sacrificed as well because they had to have their both their parents because my ex-husband uh and when we were married he's he's military retired also so my kids had to put up with temporary duties deployments uh not in a, like when i deployed i couldn't tell them where i was going i couldn't talk to them for a couple of weeks it, it wasn't like it is now where there's so much internet and it's easy to to uh to converse but you you uh we all sacrificed and we were willing to die for the freedoms that we have so if you really want to thank a veteran for their service don't wear our uniform like it's just a fashion statement or a piece of clothing or something. It's not cute. It's not fashionable. It's not something that, that any veteran is going to appreciate. So I just wanted to share a little bit um, uh, about that. Uh, this, this Veterans Day coming up, uh, you may see people. And interestingly enough, when I went to that uh, the show, the talk, there were all kinds of people there wearing all kinds of different military uniform combinations. And I'm not real sure why, uh, why people are thinking that that's, that's okay. Uh, I don't think enough people are speaking up. So I just thought it was really important for me to speak up and um, share from a veteran's perspective that this, this really isn't something that should be worn flippantly or worn as a fashion statement or worn especially to impersonate a veteran or to get financial gain. The, for those who do that, they will be found out. But for those who are are not veterans and think that you're doing something to honor veteran service, this, this is not something that you put on and just wear around like, oh, okay, I'm supporting a veteran. Yeah, okay, wear, wear a hat, put on a t-shirt. You want to wear a camouflage pants, you want to wear military boots or whatever, no big deal. But you don't want to wear a whole uniform with the rank, the insignia, uh, the patches, any of the unit identifying information, anything on there. And if you're not on active duty or wearing the uniform in accordance with your services regulation, that shows you how you can actually wear it as a separated veteran, as a retiree, as a reservist. Even there's even provisions in uh, the Air Force regulation about uh, wearing the, the uniform as far as being an actor as long as it's not bringing discredit to uh, military service, it can be done. So thanks for watching. If you want to read more, go to eldonaluisfernandez.com on the blog. I'll also put it in the, uh, in the comments here on this video. Uh, appreciate you liking it, making a comment, uh, tell me what you think, sharing it on your, uh, your own personal feed so we can get this message out. So when, as we're approaching Veterans Day, that uh, more and more people understand the importance and the honor of wearing the military uniform. So uh, have a great Monday, and I salute you. Eldon Luis Fernandez, Master Sergeant, United States Air Force, retired, signing out.